Hi, I'm Julie from Pelagerja Truffles and in today's video we're going to look at how to find truffles. Do you have a truffle dog and you're ready to get started but where do you go? Well your first instinct might be to go and ask an experienced truffle hunter where do they hunt for truffles. The problem with this is they're unlikely to tell you. This knowledge is not really freely given. It may be passed down from generation to generation, like a family secret. These truffle patches may be a source of income for the truffle hunter. Um, this knowledge is hard won through a lot of time and effort and tramping around the countryside. So truffle hunters feel justified in keeping these patches a secret, which is all well and good, but it doesn't really help you. So today we're going to look at how to get started. People probably won't tell you where to hunt for truffles, but they may tell you how to hunt for truffles. And that's what I'm going to do today. First of all, truffles grow in forests. They grow in small woods. They grow among clumps of trees at the side of the road or next to a field. You may even be very lucky and have some truffles growing in your garden. Your job is to identify areas that combine the set of factors needed to make the perfect truffle environment. The truffle environment varies from species to species. Now these are tubo brumale. Uh, they grow in this region from January through till the end of March and they will require a completely different set of growing factors than say the tuber estivum. So your first job is to find out which truffles grow in your area and at what time of year. Okay, and that's our next step. When we speak of growth factors, we are referring to the different elements which come together to form an ecosystem where truffles can grow. Once you have your truffle dog on your forest, you also need to have the right altitude, the correct amount of exposure or shade. Uh, rainfall is incredibly important, as are the species of trees the composition of the soil and the pH too. And don't forget the symbiotic vegetation. Now, if all of these come together, you may get truffles. So the next step is to find out which areas near to you have the growth factors that truffles need. It's a good idea to do some research before you start. It'll save you a lot of time wandering around in forests, which are, you know, the wrong altitude or don't have the right amount of shade, for example. Make a list of possible locations and just then get out there and start exploring.
you learn more about truffles and about traveling environments, you will start thinking like a detective, putting pieces together in order to find uh, potential sites, you know, keeping a, a notebook with places that you want to visit, um, recording what you find there. And you may want to invest in a pair of binoculars to spy on these places. You always need to be on the lookout for potential truffle activity. If you don't enjoy a challenge then you might may find that truffling is not the best hobby for you. Um, a lot of Truffling is about arming yourself with information and getting out there and exploring, but a huge part of it is also character tenacity. You have to be pretty stubborn and also disciplined, and you have to commit, I think. Above all, though, truffle hunting should be fun. It should be about you and your dog uh, working together as a team uh, out in a natural, <laughs> in a natural environment. Just you know, having, having a good time. Um, so I hope that you do have fun with your truffling and I'd also like to wish you good luck because luck is a huge part of truffling. But remember though that you do make your own good luck. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next week for the next video. Goodbye.